Hi everybody, it's Katie, and today I'm going to be doing the Harry Potter Pottermore house sorting quiz that is on Pottermore. I've always personally identified as a Ravenclaw, just for a lot of various reasons. I love reading, I love learning, I'll do whatever it takes to learn and become wiser. Pottermore agrees with that, so I have it open already and we're gonna take this quiz the first question is moon or stars um i'm gonna go with stars which road tempts you the most the wide sunny grassy lane the narrow dark lantern lit alley no the twisting leaf strewn path through the woods Okay, the Cobb Street lined with ancient buildings. Ooh, ooh, I'm torn. The cobbled street or the twisting leaf shrewn path through the woods. You can learn a lot from the woods and you can learn a lot from the ancient buildings and cobbled streets. Have you ever heard like the sound of uh, horses on cobble streets I, that's just I'm, i'll go with the cobble streets how would you like to be known in history as the wise the good the great the bold i like the wise i want to be known as smart what are you most looking forward to learning at hogwarts apparition and disapparition transfiguration flying on a broomstick hexes and jinxes all about magical creatures and how to be friends slash care for them secrets about the castle uh every area of magic that i can i want the magical creatures if you're attending hogwarts which pet would you choose to take with you can i take eloise with me i like eloise tabby cat siamese cat ginger cat black cat white cat tawny owl screech owl brown owl snowy owl aw, barn owl common toad Nitterjack Toad, Dragon Toad, Harlequin Toad, uh, Three Toad, Tree Toad, that's a tongue twister, Tabby, oh, and back to Tabby Cat, Ginger Cat, just, I like, I like Ginger, so that's a Ginger Cat, <laughs> that is probably the most shallow answer I'll give, uh, which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with, hunger, cold, Loneliness, boredom, being ignored. I really don't like the cold, but that goes to my bad leg and how it really doesn't like the cold. And that's pretty hard to deal with, so I'll say the cold. <laughs> um, you enter an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The silver leaf tree bearing golden apples. <gasps> golden apples? The apples of Idun? Thor? Norse? Anyway, uh, the fat tree toes that appeared to be talking to each other. That would be cool. The bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling. Ooh, that's like science, bioluminescence. The statue of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling eye. Heads or tails? Uh, heads. Hufflepuff? Congratulations on being sorted into Hufflepuff. Welcome to House Hufflepuff. You probably know that some of Hufflepuff's most renowned members include Nymphora Tonks and Cedric Diggory, but did you know that Hufflepuff's house ghosts the fat far far air? Sorry if I butchered that. Uh, still resents the fact that he was never made a cardinal, or that Hufflepuff was produced the fewest dark wizards of any house at Hogwarts. That's good. Good to know. Here you can discover more about your beloved house through writing by J.K. Rowling, articles by Pottermore, and all of the latest Hufflepuff news. You can also share your Hufflepuff pride with your friends with downloadable wallpaper and house emblems. Hufflepuff is certainly the least boastful house, but we've uh, pr produced just as many brilliant witches and wizards as any other. Want proof? Look at these people. 
more people. Uh, more people. Okay, got it. We've produced our fair share. Got it. Ravenclaws in particular assume any outstanding achiever must have come from their house. Uh, Hufflepuffs are trustworthy and loyal. We do not shoot our mouths off, but cross us at your peril. Just like our emblem, the badger, we will protect ourselves, our friends, and our family against all comers. Nobody intimidates us. Okay. Maybe. I can kind of see why I got put into Hufflepuff. You hurt me or one of my friends, I'll take you down. I have a cane. I will use the cane. However, it's true that Hufflepuff is a bit lacking in one area. We've produced a few as dark wizards of any house in the school. Once again, congratulations on becoming a member of the finest, most decent, and most tenacious house of them all. I can kind of see why being a Hufflepuff fits me. Also liked being able to claim Ravenclaw is my struggle. Okay, well, um, I guess put in the comments below if you think that I should stay a Hufflepuff or stay a Ravenclaw. Now in the comments below, let me know, also let me know what your houses are. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you later. Insert a creative outro here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.